In time, the verdict in what is being dubbed the Black Swan murder trial is now in. A jury in Florida says Ashley Benefield is guilty of manslaughter for the 2020 killing of her husband, Doug Benefield. The prosecutors claim Ashley Benefield shot and killed her estranged husband because she wanted sole custody of their child. But the former ballerina took the stand saying she was the victim of an abusive husband. She claims she shot 58-year-old Doug Benefield in the fall of 2020 in self-defense. ABC News legal contributor and host at Law and Crime Network, Brian Buckmeyer, joins me now for more on this. So, Brian, we have the guilty verdict in manslaughter, not guilty of murder. Correct. Are you surprised by this verdict? It was quite a roller coaster going into this verdict because we had also a deadlock at some point. The jury had only gotten the case yesterday afternoon, mm -hmm. came back to the judge and said, hey, we're deadlocked. The, the prosecutor wanted what's called an Allen charge, basically reading the jury, say, go one back more time, maybe there'll be a mistrial. The, the defense wanted to keep going, but they kept going and ultimately came back. And I think it was more like a kind of King Solomon moment. Um, they were not sure of the murder, but they didn't want her to walk away with, with everything. So it was like, split the baby, give the manslaughter. Because it definitely wasn't argued as a manslaughter case. So it was somewhat surprising. Right, yeah, I was wondering, it's almost like, it, it kind of a compromise, I suppose. Because uh, does it mean that they bought the self-defense, but not that much? Not I, I don't really, really. understand. So voluntary yeah. manslaughter, the way it's kind of described at law school, mm -hmm. this is the heat of passion murder. This is the example they give as you walk into the bedroom and you see your spouse cheating on you, you can't calm yourself down and you kill that person. It's not self-defense, it's a mitigation in some way, but this wasn't a heat of passion murder. Uh -huh. So looking at the deadlock and what they landed on makes it seem to me like there's a compromise, not necessarily they believe this is heat of passion. Got it. What sh could she be looking at in terms of sentencing? <laughs> so manslaughter in Florida is typically 15 years, but with a gun enhancement, she's looking to up to 30 years in prison. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of back and forth in those victim impact statements. That big of a sentence, I would assume, will automatically appeal, right? Absolutely, but I don't know what they would appeal here. This, in, in some ways, is a win for the defense. You're, you're beating the top count of murder. There is a wide range of how much jail time she could get, uh, but for the prosecution, it's also not a win for them. Do we know that it, they were hung up on the murder charge? This is just me reading tea leaves. Yes. We know they were hung up because they came back at one point and said, we are deadlocked. The uh -huh. judge says, we're going to send you back in. And after 30 or 45 minutes of saying they were deadlocked, they came with a lesser count. But it doesn't make sense based on the facts. Got it. So it makes it seem like some people are saying, no, not the murder. She's got to get something. Yes. And that's why it's kind of perceived as being in the middle. Now, the jurors might speak in the future going right. forward and we'll learn more. But right now, reading yes. the tea leaves, that's what it appears Could to be. Could get some clarity on whether they were split on the murder charge or whether they were split on a manslaughter charge. Very interesting. All right, Brian Buckmeyer, nice to see you always. Thank you very much.